Before starting, make sure that you have all your tools to hand and that they are well sharpened. First, check that the door is the correct size and type for the opening. Remove the top and bottom horns. In this case, the door is to be fitted over a water bar in the frame sill, and the rebate in the bottom rail is extended through the styles. It's often helpful to mark the hanging side on both the frame and the door. Check the fit of the hanging side of the door against the frame and mark the areas that need to be eased with a plane. After easing the door to fit, plane a slight bevel to provide a leading edge to prevent the door binding against the frame. When the hanging side fits, remove the arises. Wedge the door hard over to the hanging side. 
using two 10p pieces as a guide, check whether the closing side has an even gap. Mark the areas that need to be eased. Again, plane a slight bevel to prevent binding. Mark the bottom of the door where it requires fitting to the sill. Plane one end of the bottom of the door, then turn it over and plane back the other way. With the bottom rail tight on the sill, Mark the top to allow a gap of two 10p pieces. Mark the position of the hinges on the hanging side of the door, squaring the two lines from the face marked with the H.
Position the third hinge midway between the top and bottom hinges. Set a gauge to the width of the hinge leaf and then gauge this distance onto the edge of the door. Do the same with the thickness of the leaf. Insert the leaf with two knuckles into the cut recess. Place a 10p piece on the top of the door to ensure the correct gap and then wedge up tightly from the bottom. Mark the hinge position onto the frame. Measure the distance between the back of the door and the edge of the leaf. Mark this distance, plus two millimetres for clearance, from the back edge of the rebate and then gauge the hinge recess. With a gauge set to the thickness of a hinge leaf, Mark the front edge of the frame.
a spare hinge to check the fit of the leaf into the recess. Use wooden blocks to support the door while screwing onto the frame. First, hang the door with one screw in each hinge. Check the fit and then put in the remaining screws. The door should now have a clearance of 2 mm between the rebate and the hanging edge of the door. And also, there should be a gap on all four sides, equivalent to a 10p piece.